this is our fourth lecture of design of plate cutter so in the last lecture we have to design our plate cutter section which resists maximum bending moment which is 5976 kN into meter and which resists maximum shear force which is 996 kN okay so in the last lecture we are just select a trial and error section so in today's lecture we will check that our selected trial and error section which resists maximum shear force or maximum bending moment is safe or unsafe okay so students in the last lecture we are discussing that our selected section having the size of this is our width of flange okay so width of flange is 500 mm thickness of flange is 40 mm optimum depth of section is 1400 mm this is thickness of web portion is 12 mm and this flange portions area is 500 cross 40 mm okay so now let us moving further to our step number 5 which is the check for moment capacity now it is already discussed that only a flange portion which resist bending moment okay so the moment which resist by the bending the moment which resist by the flange only therefore we have to check our selected sections flange is in which property whether it is plastic whether it is compact whether it is semi compact or whether it is in slender okay so let us check our selected sections flange portion is in which property okay so you all the students are move to page number 18 in which there is a section classifications are provided on page number 18 of is 800 2007 okay so on that the equation is b by tf now what is the value of b the value of b is b by 2 okay so b by 2 is 250 divided by tf which is equal to 6.25 and this 6.25 value is less than 8.4 epsilon it means our selected sections flange is in plastic state okay so now let us start our step number 5 which is check for moment capacity so for check for moment capacity you all the students are move to page number 53 so on page number 53 there is a clause number 8.2.1.2 in which one equation of md means design moment is beta b into zb into fy by gamma m0 now what is the value of beta b the value of beta b is equal to 1 because it is already discussed that our selected sections portion is in plastic state so you can see that the value of beta b is 1 for plastic and compact section now fy means yield stress and you all know that the value of yield stress is 250 kilo sorry 250 newton per mm square and gamma m0 which is equal to 1.10 k which is equal to our partial safety factor now what is that be so zb is plastic section modulus and the equation of zb is derived in our chapter number 7 which is plastic design in which our zb is a1y1 plus a2y2 plus a3y3 okay so on chapter number 7 the equation is a by 2 into y1 plus y2 because on that case over a1 is equal to a2 which is already derived in that equation okay so basically our equation of zb is a1y1 plus a2y2 plus a3y3 because in this case there is three parts top flange vertical portion which is equal to web and this is bottom flange so 
say for example this is our first member this is our second member and this is our third member now whenever we have to cut these selected sections in the horizontal direction then we have to find out our y bar okay it means center in the y direction and the center in y direction is 1480 divided by 2 okay because this figure is our symmetrical figure and for symmetrical figure our cg is exactly at the center so it is 1480 divided by 2 so it will be 740 mm okay now let us start our a1 y1 it means area of this portion this is our first portion so 500 into 40 into y1 now y1 means cg of this first portion and cg of combined portions distance okay so at this point it is 740 now if this is 740 then this is also 740 and the cg of this point only is 20 mm because this thickness is 40 mm then 40 divided by 2 it is equal to 20 now 740 minus 20 so it is 720 okay so you can see that for first portion it is 500 into 40 into 720 now for our second member which is our wave portion so wave portion cg from the 0 0 is exactly on the 740 and the cg of combined section is also at 740 it means our y2 distance is zero in that case so that that's why we have to return a1 sorry a2 into y2 is equal to zero because y2 is equal to zero then this all the terms becomes zero now the same calculation is for a3 y3 so you can see that a3 means 5 500 into 40 and cg of this portion is at 20 but 740 minus 20 so becomes 720 so you can see that this terms is for two types so it is also written as 2 into 500 into 40 into 720 so you will get your answer 2 28.80 into 10 raised to 6 mm cube. Okay, so students, if we are putting this exact value into this equation, so we will get our answer 6545.45 kilometer into meter. It means our selected I sections, which resist the bending moment, having the value of 6545.45 kilometer into meter, which is much greater than the required bending moment it means our selected section is safe in bending moment now we are moving further to our step number 6 which is check for shear capacity and for check for shear capacity you all the students are moved to page number 59 in which one equation is vd now what is the equation of vd it is vn by gamma m0 but what is vn so you can see that vn is our vp now what is vp so you can see that our vp is av f by by root 3 so whenever we have to put this equation into this equation so our equation will be like this av into f by divided by root 3 into gamma m0 now what is f by So F Y means our yield stress, which is equal to 250. Root 3 is constant. Gamma M0 is our partial safety factor. So students, after putting all this value, our one only one unknown, which is A B. A B means shear area. And what is the value of shear area? So you can see that for shear area may be calculated as given below. for i and channel section so there is two types of sections are there roll which is ready made section and second one is welded okay which may have to made up with the help of bolting welding and 
temporary welding okay so you can see that for welded the equation is d into tw so that's why our value of d is 1400 and tw is 12 mm so students after putting all this value we will get our answer 2204 kN but this is not our final answer our final answer is given on page number 53 in which it is clearly mentioned that our v doesn't exceed 0.6 vd so we have to multiply this value with the help of 0.6 so our answer is 1322 kN which is also much greater than our reaction maximum reaction with the both the ends okay so students our section is safe against shear force also okay so it means our selected section is safe in shear force and bending moment as well now our last step is our buckling wave buckling theory so for wave buckling theory it is already discussed that we have two methods first one is simple post critical method this method is given on page number 59 and another method is tension field method this method is given on page number 16 so whenever there is no any clarification regarding which method is find out which method is used to solve this example then you have to use simple post critical method okay so in this equation we have to use simple post critical method in which the equation is you can see that this is our page number 16 in which for simple post critical method equation is vcr is equal to av into tau b now what is av so av is your shear area so for shear area you can see that our equation is d into tw but what is tau b so for tau b you have to check your value of lambda w is in which range whether your lambda w is less than or equal to 0.8 then you have to put the tau b equation will be like this if your lambda w is in the range of 0.8 to 1.2 then you have to use tau b equation will be like this and the third condition is your value of lambda w is greater than or equal to 1.2 then you have to put down the value of tau b like this okay so first of all you can see that in this equation the value of tau b is depending upon the value of lambda w so that's why we have to find out first of all lambda w now you can see that in the equation of lambda w the equation will be under root of fy divided by root 3 into tau cr now fy is 250 root 3 is constant now what is tau cr so for the value of lambda w you have to find out first of all tau cr and tau cr's equation is given in just below the equation of lambda w so the value of tau cr will be kb into pi square a divided by 12 into 1 minus mu square into d by tw whole square now from this equation you have all these values except one value which is kb so let us start from the bottom portion which is 12 12 is constant 1 is also constant mu so you can see that mu is poisson's ratio and the value of poisson's ratio is given on page number 12 of ias 800 2007 it is given as 0.3 okay so you can see that the value of mu is 0.3 which is given on ias 800 2007 on page number 12 now small d is 1400 tw is 12 e e means modulus of elasticity and you all know that the value of e is 2 into 10 raised to 5 megapascal 
so it is 2 into 5 10 raised to 5 pi is 3.14 or 22 by 7 and what is kv so you can see that kv having three conditions two will be like this and this is third condition and you can see that the value of kv is 5.35 when transfer stiffeners are provided only at the supports it means your vertical stiffeners are provided only at the supports there is no any vertical intermediate supports are provided so whenever there is on stiffens words is used in the example then you have to consider your first conditions this both the conditions are required when there is a intermediate stiffeners are provided okay because you can see that c what is c so you can see that c is the spacing between two intermediate stiffeners okay and d is your optimum depth okay so in this example we have to use kv is equal to 5.35 so students you can see that we have all the values so if we are putting all the values in this equation then our value of tau cr is 71.04 newton per mm square it means our tau cr value is 71.04 mm square if we are putting our tau cr value into this equation then we will get our value of lambda w so now we are putting our value of tau cr in the, this equation and we will get our answer lambda w is equal to 1.425 now 1.425 is greater than 1.2 so that's why we have to put down our value and we have to find out the tau b with the help of this equation okay so our value of tau b is f y w divided by root 3 into lambda w square so after putting all this value we will get our answer tau b is equal to 71.08 newton per mm square now your tau b is ready your a b is d into t w so students if you have all the values then you have also the value of b c r so students after calculating all the data your answer of v c r is double one nine four kilonewton which is greater than 996 kilonewton it means your selected section is also safe in wave buckling okay now we are moving further to our last step which is already known that anchor force but students whenever we are discussing about design step and at that time our anchor force means our stiffeners takes how much load and you all know that in this example we are not providing any stiffeners except hand stiffeners okay so whenever there is a there is a clarification regarding your example is for unstiffened so that at that time you are not solve your step number eight and at that time you have to solve your example up to step number seven okay so students this is the end of our example number one now we are moving further to our example number two in the very next lecture okay so students this is the end of our today's session thank you